Hello everyone. As we're heading towards Halloween, I thought we'd look at a little group of orchids called Draculas. Not named after the vampire, but the name literally means little dragon. And the flowers often have a kind of reptilian look about them uh, with mottled colouring and uh, quite textured flowers. They come from Central and South America. They live high up in the trees on the tops of the mountains. So they love to be in a really airy, cool environment up in the cloud forest. We can see that they grow as a, a clump of leaves, very similar to a Masdevalia. But they would live up in the trees as an epiphyte. So we grow them in baskets. We can see lots of our mother plants growing above my head here in baskets. And we can see that another reason for growing them in a basket is that the flowers go downwards through the hole in the basket or over the side. Uh, they uh, grow well like this. They love the air. They love the extra drainage through the pot. So they do really well hanging up. And we pot them either in a, a moss or bark mixture to keep them nice and damp. They're often best viewed from underneath because of their flowers hanging down. Uh, just like this species, which is Dracula Bella, perhaps one of the more beautiful ones. And uh, if I can just hold the flower up a little bit like that, hopefully you can see a little bit of how it looks. They can be quite temperamental to grow and a little bit tricky, but they are best kept in a cool, shady, humid, airy position, which can be quite hard in the home where it's quite warm and dry. But if you've got a nice cool greenhouse with some orchids like Masdevalias or cool growing Dendrobium, Cylogenes, Cymbidiums, those sort of things, then the Draculas could well grow quite well for you. Um, they are a little bit of a challenge, but they're, they're worth having a go. Here's some other pictures of some different Dracula species. Here's a close up of Dracula Bella. This one is from Colombia and Ecuador one of the more beautiful species. This is Cordobe. This comes from Ecuador and grows in the wet montane forests. Lovely edging and herring you can see on the flower there, very hairy, furry flower. This is Gygus, quite a large flower from Colombia and Ecuador. Looking like a little face in the centre there. A lot of them are known as monkey orchids. This is uh, Dracula polyphemus burnum, AM, RHS. We had an award of merit given to this when the RHS visited the nursery in 2013. Probably the most famous is Dracula vampira, fantastic for this time of year. Large flowers, you can see, with these uh, real amazing stripes. So... As even we find the Draculas a little bit tricky to grow, they can be quite slow to clump up into big plants and so therefore slow to propagate. So at the moment, unfortunately, we haven't got any available for sale in the nursery, but they will be split up and divided again in the future. So if you're interested in having a go at uh, growing some Draculas, get in touch with us and we can let you know availability or maybe put you on a waiting list. Hopefully it won't take too, too long. So uh, happy Halloween, everybody.